Welcome to CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Tournament. Today's game is between the UTEP Miners and the Eastern Illinois Panthers. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brat. And of course, Bill, our starting five. I'll tell you, Gus, the matchup at center should be a special one. These two put up some great numbers, and they will be a handful tonight. And just before things get underway, let's look at what each... The Panthers get possession, and away we go. Lobs it inside. And the ball is out of bounds. We'll go back the other way. The Miners now running the four around one. Must be alert on that defensive end because guys get pinned and they can step out and knock down the deep one. Raff, he got away with a foul. Whose side are you on here, guys? And we get a look at his numbers so far this season. Numbers can tell you a lot of different things. You see the most important stuff about a player, you have to watch him play. Hits two at the charity strike. Pushes it, may be in some trouble. Full court pass. up a long-range shot. I want to thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Gus Johnson, and joining me, the man with all of the insight, the governor, Bill Rafter. Both teams are looking to get something going here. No luck from downtown. Looking for the bomb. Got it. Wow. On the left side. He shoots from the top of the key. Big time dagger. That was a great play there, Coach. It's really good offensive position to feed the guy in the high post area. If he can play, it opens up many different scoring opportunities. Shots off. Watch out. Bang. Low block. Look at that block. Terrific reaction. Miles handles the pass. Comes up empty from deep. Hardy receives the ball. Shots up. No. Takes the board. Four minutes left on the game clock. Miles handles the feed. Off the mark. Great strength. On the wing. In the lane. He missed it. It's mine. Way out on the right wing. The Panthers saw offense. They have five guys on the perimeter and really look to get that drive and kick action. And they complement with a slip to the low box. He looks for three. Shot clock shows 10. The Miners in a hurry. He can't get it to go. Grabs the rebound. Out on the left wing. He takes the three. The Panthers are having an unbelievably tough time from the field. They're not concentrating, Gus. They've got the lock down on the rim and shoot the ball with confidence. And he can't get the bounce. Brandon receives the pass. Lots of room. Squared up on the catch. Got his puppies in order. Dump it inside. How about the action so far, coach? 
about some good postseason tournament action. I'm certain the people watching are enjoying this one. Neither team backing down at this point. I'll tell you what makes the NCAA so special is the fact that it takes one bad night. One bad night, and your season is over. It's going to be a shame that when the final horn sounds, one of these very competitive teams will be out, and their season will be over. Out on the right wing. Heat check time from long range. Can't connect from the three-point line. On the right side. He shoots from outside. Oh! A great job of moving the ball, coach. Because when you move the ball like that, you force the D to react, and which in turn is the offense, the upper hand. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive, but you just gotta know when to back off. Gus, without a doubt, this will be an emotional year for him, but the key is to stay focused on the task at hand. There'll be a time to reflect at the end of the season. His team needs him to perform at his best now. Out on the way. He tries the three, and that's money from three. What a pass on the backdoor cut. Get out of my way! Ball stripped. Brandon on the move. On the left side. He fires it up. The senior. He shoots from the corner. That's how to stretch the defense, Gus. If you can make those, offensively, your team becomes really difficult to guard. Looking for a good shot. He attempts the trifecta. Not this time. Rebound and run. Finish. He's a good inside presence who can step out to the perimeter and knock it down. A big fella who has a feel and can distribute the ball, make good passes, and can shoot it a bit from deep. Oh, what a tough out. Here we see how these two teams are stacking up against each other so far. Second half of play, coach, NCAA tournament. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Who's going to fight to ensure that they move on to the next round? The answer, just a moment. One thing that separates who can march on to win six in a row from those who can't is the ability to handle pressure. The ability to play with poise and be able to finish games is extremely important. Cross court. He shoots from the corner. With no luck, snatches the rebound. Beasley takes the pass. No. Breaks it. Off the mark. See the floor. We can get some easy fast breaks. On the wing. He shoots from the corner. Shots off. That's a good stop defensively. One shot and get it out. And he's fouled. Once again, a case of being too aggressive defensively. There's nothing wrong with being aggressive. You just gotta know when to back off. Coach, it's tough when almost everyone on the floor can knock down free throw. As a coach, you gotta love it when your team can knock it down at such a high rate. No good. It's a call for the foul. Ah, 
obviously too aggressive here defensively. You really got to know your limitations, guys. With the free throw, they can set up the press. It's good! No, not this time. Robinson handles the pass. He launches the bomb. Robinson drains the tray. They work it around the perimeter. He tries the three. Misses from long range. Robinson gets the ball. And no! Hungry for the ball. Out on the right wing. He lets it go. Shots off. Elevation! Four minutes left on the game clock. Robinson receives the pass. He fires from long range. And it goes. What a big time shot. Garrison receives the ball. Jump shot. He missed it. Pulls down the board. Way out on the right wing. He shoots from the deep corner and misses. It's important that you block out to run the offense. Steals the ball. Brandon with the ball. Three minutes left on the game clock. They work it around the perimeter. Now with 10 to shoot. Now they work it around the perimeter. He attempts the three. He makes the three. The Panthers did a great job going through the high post on that play. They got the ball to the big guy at the high post, and the D just couldn't react in time, Gus. That's often the case when the ball goes into that area of the court. Coach, you've got to love tournament games like this. Great first half. Second half is much the same. I don't know. What do you think? Hey, Gus, I think this is going right to the finish line. I think this game may come down to the last possession. These teams are competing and executing to a very high level. I mean, they're making every big shot. Both of these clubs. Hardy receives the ball. Ah, he got it up and in. This one may go down to the final buzzer, Rap. Here we go. In close games like this, Gus, offensive and defensive execution is very, very, very important. Out on the left wing. And he's fouled. This layup is definitely worth a second look. Gotta make those guys. It's incredibly deflating when you don't. Here are the season averages. Gus, you can see where the numbers are at. But like any competitor, you know, this kid wants to continue to improve and find new ways to help his team win. Not today. And we'll get a change of possession. At the midway point of the half, let's take a look at how these two have performed tonight. At this point, the important question is if their team is winning. If so, nobody's worried about the stats. Ha <laughs> ha! Genius, he swats it away. Weather gets the ball. He shoots from the top of the circle. He nails the bucket. Under one minute remaining on the game clock. On the right side. Look at that block. Terrific. 
Loose ball saves a great play. Now they really have to foul in order to stop the clock, Doug. And we'll get a change of possession. Timeout on the floor. CBS Sports coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this. Hardy on the left side. Swatted away. Foul on the play. Here's another solid junior bill. He's been on the collegiate scene for a couple of years now. This is the year when the players start to transition into more of a leadership role and really guide the younger players on the team. on the way. Some people dread this part of the game, Gus. When the losing team is fouling, they're ordered to stop the clock. And, of course, another foul as they try to remain close. Not much else they can do. Foul. And that stops the clock again. They'll throw it in from the side. And they continue to foul to stop the clock. Good strategy. They'll throw this one in from the side. And the foul will stop the clock momentarily. With the freebie. Got it! Makes the shot. And after the timeout, we're all set to pick things up. Long down court pass. He shoots from the corner. Outside, Jay won't go. It's all about shot selection, Gus. It's so important to take good shots, and not necessarily the shot the defense wants you to take. Hit the shot. He can't get the hoop to fall. We've said it so many times, survive and advance. Well, one survived and will advance. The other one's going home. Well, when you take a close look at this victory, it came down to execution. We say it all the time, but these guys did a terrific job of getting stops at the defensive end and scores at the offensive end. That's our coverage of NCAA basketball on CBS Sports. I'm Gus Johnson for Bill Raftery saying good night, and we'll see you next time.